Nico, curious uh, about the additional companies jumping on here, Daimler, Ericsson, Bank of America, just the latest. Um, talk to us about, you know, the, 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 the most recent concerns, given that Zoom has come out and apologized and made what seemed to be a number of changes. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of those companies, as well as NXP Semiconductors, a, a chip maker, have decided to ban Zoom use by employees uh, inside of their organizations. Even though uh, Zoom has, over the past month, as it's come under pressure uh, for security concerns, taken a lot of steps to try to uh, improve those concerns, including having waiting rooms so each individual in a meeting has to be vetted before uh, being allowed to come in, passwords for meetings being mandatory, and that sort of thing. These companies still are, are too concerned to have their employees use the software, but it's important to note that all of these companies are clients of a different video conferencing tool. So in the case of Daimler, for instance, and Ericsson, they use Microsoft um, software, which competes against Zoom. Uh, and so this is really for meetings with clients, meetings with partners, external meetings that may happen, and of course, internal meetings between employees who just prefer the interface of Zoom.